All right. With us today uh, is Patrick messier handyside from the, the European Commission, the Directorate General for uh, Innovation. And um, we're talking about the role of the EU in supporting urban living labs. So Patrick, um, uh, the EU supports quite a number of urban living labs. Maybe you can reflect a little bit on that of the history, but also the vision for the EU to support living labs at the city level. Thank you, Oliver. As you said, I'm working in DG Research Innovation, where I am responsible for urban mobility activities. And for the last, I would say, 15 to 20 years, through uh, 20 years through research and innovation activities, we are supporting living labs and also demonstration activities in urban areas. Our main focus was and is still even more now with uh, the greening of activities is on the climate change mitigation, but also on uh, reducing, reducing emissions in cities, which are the main concern of the citizen in cities in Europe, but not only in Europe, also uh, in all cities around the world. So for such activities, we have the policy activities, which is, for example, at the moment we have the EU Green Deal, mm -hmm. which had a very ambitious objective to have <coughs> uh, our 90% uh, level reduction compared to the years before and to be, uh, in 2050, the first continent carbon neutral, which is very ambitious. And for that, through research and innovation activities, we have developed demonstration activities in different cities through urban living labs to exchange and demonstrate activities and then incrementally, step by step, with uh, exchanging between cities uh, in Europe but also around the world, we could demonstrate how small solutions but also bigger solutions can be implemented and support all these uh, policy activities. And if I, you know, because the European Green Deal is of course a very big Rural. initiative, uh, um, of course, focusing on the economy as a whole. So a living lab, of course, can only play a small role. So how can a small living lab make a positive contribution to such a big endeavor? Indeed, a lot of activities can be done, but it will not solve all the problems. But I think our motto is really one solution does not fit all. So it's very important for us to uh, <coughs> spread the good word around uh, the different cities in Europe. That's why when we have some research activities, we like to implement through three, four, let's, let's five cities, uh, some uh, living labs on demonstration activities. But then we have different type of level of cities following this demonstration. Mm -hmm. So what we call the exchange of best practice, but also follower cities. So we tried from with small actions to be that it could spread like the bread you know that you you give and it can be spread with uh, bigger action in the future and following these activities we have uh, worked with more than 300 cities in the last years uh, to implement these new uh, innovation uh, activities on the field of urban mobility and what is very important is the different type of activities it's not only technology development but it's also all the environment and the socio economic aspect but also the link with the so called in Europe uh, sustainable urban mobility plans that, that all these small solutions which are developed in such living labs could be integrated in a longer term uh, to support the activities on the sustainable development of the cities. Whereas Europe is a new European framework program for research innovation for the next uh, seven years, from the year 2020 to 27, so it's a long time uh, program. And we have a uh, uh, transport program which is linked with energy and climate called Cluster 5, for, in our jargon, which deal with these three elements, combining uh, transport, energy and climate. So our one of our main focus is really on climate change, as we mentioned before. So it is really one of our key priorities. Uh, all the activities is developed for European researchers, industry, stakeholders, city authorities, NGOs. But as you mentioned, indeed, uh, it is open to international cooperation. So uh, that was a quick um, uh, overview on uh, activities from the European Union, but also with the European Union uh, working globally. Thank you very much, Patrick. It's my pleasure. And we'll continue the uh, cooperation. Thank Looking you forward to working together. Thank you and good luck Thank for you. your activities.